Hello, I'm Iron Bob, also known as Robert Finlay. Today we're at my desert training center and we're going to look at our boat and our loadout for the upcoming Everglades Challenge 2020. The boat is a Stellar ST21. She's 21.4 in length and in the beam 22.4 inches making her length to width ratio such that we are in class two for this event. Smart track rudder, upgraded rudder courtesy of uh, and a gift from uh, Swamp Monkey, also known as Ron White, at our rudder lines, which these are stronger than what originally came. They're slightly bigger diameter and there's no sheath on them. We had a problem with the sheath before and it uh, cut through bunched up and took away the mobility of our rudder so at night she's her name is ranger during the day she's simply the black boat spare rudder pfds are mti cascades outfitted with a plb and a whistle and a knife such that we can employ uh, one-handed with either hand. Hydration system. Tether. And electric bilge pump with a Tsunami T500 and a 12-volt uh, sealed lead-acid battery in a Pelican case. Switch and everything completely waterproof. Here's what she sounds like. Okay, if you've got water in this cockpit up to about the, above your level of your legs, this little pump will evacuate the water of this cockpit in about two minutes, which uh, that allows you to keep your hands on the paddle and uh, conduct yourself uh, in the conditions that capsized you in the first place. Okay, if you're gonna have an electric bilge pump, rules require that you have a hand bailout mechanism. This also, uh, Triple, triple use, put a little sandwich in here. Um, might get a longer one for the event because normally we put a full 12 inch Subway sandwich in here. It's also a pee bottle, sponge, and a three liter bladder, Velcro down. Okay, this seat is a Current Designs, uh, looks awfully simple, but we borrowed a boat for the Yukon River Quest a few years ago with these seat pads you know, 440 mile race and we didn't notice the seat pads, which is a pretty good uh, endorsement for any kind of kayak seat. This is a SATA Kayaks back band, the most comfortable back band we've ever used. Modified it a little bit to uh, fit in this boat. Okay, let's take a look in the cockpit. We've got a under the deck net rigged and we couldn't use the smart track rudder system with this netting because then the feet would interfere with the netting and it's a big hassle. So these are uh, an old sliding rudder system from Feathercraft, which we modified the boat to accept. Okay, going forward to this cockpit. It's outfitted completely the same. Oh, by the way, these are our food bags. One liter food bags, which connect to the PFD. Thus, we don't have to pop a spray skirt to eat. Look under here, there's absolutely no foot pegs. Now I'll explain that a little bit. Okay, we're, this year we're in a class two sail. And this is a Falcon sail. Challenge 12, so 12 square feet. Very efficient sail, very nice sail. Four stay or downhaul lines, side and rear stay lines, boom bang, and sheet haul line. So with this sail, you can run downwind, offwind, on a beam reach, or about 30 degrees close to the wind. So we're pretty happy to have this sail. Okay, let's look at the gear. 
in the front cockpit. Well, let's look at the modifications for this sail. The first time we used this sail, we actually ripped a hole in the deck, all right? So I've repaired that fiberglass, additional fiberglass above and below deck. Additionally, I made some structural modifications. You can take a look at here. Works a little rough because you cannot look in here with your head and eyes and also put a hand and arm to do the work. So it's all, all the work's blind. That's uh, marine plywood uh, sealed with epoxy. And uh, the top plate is shaped to a trapezoid to fit the deck. And it's curved to fit the curve of the deck with this vertical structural member super epoxied to the to the bottom given the sail a, a strong place to pull this boat forward with looking at the gear these are two down sleeping bags okay they don't go with us unless the, the few days of the race are forecast to be very cold bow line dry bag which i call our command and signal kit see if I can remember everything in this dry bag is our uh, marine radio our backup GPS uh, Coast Guard approved day and night signal kit extra charts handheld compass pen repair kit to include uh, miscellaneous things but uh, spare rudder lines for, for one um, Let's see, first aid kit number two, and the repair kit includes really strong tape to repair a puncture in the hull, and some other tape to repair fabric. Also a multi-tool, and I probably didn't remember everything, but it's all in there. Paddle tether, probably necessary if I'm going to be manning the sail. Bag goes in front of my feet. It's our complete uh, shelter and sleep system. So it's a two-person tent, sleeping pads, synthetic sleeping bags. The down sleeping bags were just an addition. It should be cold. Um, ground cloth and two-person bivy bag and our sacrosanct clothes for the beach, which we never go paddling with. Okay. This is my day bag, which these are the clothes which I'll wear and a set of change out clothes. So my paddling shorts, wool socks with the toe cut out so I can wade into the water and yet pull these down, they'll protect my ankles. Paddling gloves, sun shirt or sun hat sun shirt a wool shirt and a shorty paddling jacket so i can adjust my clothing as weather dictates in here wool cap a beanie more paddling gloves my headlamp ah spare headlamp in here okay our sandals of choice for myself, for Drews, bug spray, sunblock, spot tracker, chronometer, GPS, sea jacket, and semi-dry pants for the both of us. These are full. These are full uh, sleeved sea jackets with hood. Drews's day clothes similar to mine, but with his particular preferences. Spare paddle, which is a canoe paddle, which we do change out once in a while, and uh, it gives the muscles a change of uh, pace from always swinging double bladed. Spare clothes, a lot of spare clothes in here. Kind of a heavy bag, really. So, this will tailor down if the weather's forecast to be 
uh, temperate, but if it's forecast to be cold, probably take all these things. Extra line, extra bladder. So we have three three liter bladders, but when completely full, we have about 10 liters of water on board. Stove kit with long spoon. And this little thing. So this is, looks like paper, but it's quite waterproof. Acts like a dry bag, it's a thermal bag. So when we leave a beach with a hot meal, we place it in here and uh, we pass a hot meal back and forth for, uh, keeps it warm for hours actually. Okay, we swing Gara Paddles Odin S or Odin Small. So this paddle has a beautiful entry in the water, very smooth, good power transmission and a nice clean exit. So these are beautiful paddles. Okay. This boat with this gear eats up the miles. 2018, we did the Everglades course, 68 hours, six minutes. Last year, kind of a headwind year, light headwinds, but a headwind year, most of it, most of the course, 72 hours, 48 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it looks, the whole kit looks with the boat loaded with the gear. Okay, this is how we look underway. Here's our command and single bag. Our two down sleeping bags, should we decide to take them. When we're on the beach, we pop the hatch and we can listen to the weather. My paddle with tether. My hydration tube in the PFD. My food bag. Our spray skirts, our Reed Chill Cheater. Best spray skirts we've ever used, all right? They're lightweight, they are very waterproof. We've got very comfortable and efficient suspenders, easy to tighten, easy to loosen. Plus the people at uh, Chill Cheater, very service oriented, oriented, they wanna give you a good product and keep you happy. Love those guys. Okay, GPS, juice does a navigation, I set the pace. Spot tracker, we track our position, blast out a position statement about every 10 minutes, and a chronometer. So this little chronometer, we set to its hydration alarm of 30 minutes. Thus, every 30 minutes, Druce stops paddling, stows his paddle, and eats. In our food bag, we have dried food, dry fruit, nuts, and meat bars with high fat content. He spends a couple minutes uh, eating, maybe peeing, whatever he's gotta do. He resumes paddling, then I eat. I stow my paddle, then I eat. Good system, even when we're eating a hot meal, the boat does not stop moving. Okay. Our extra clothes bag, which may not be this big, uh, should it be forecast to be very pleasant weather. Our extra line, our extra bladder, our spare paddle, our cooking kit. Okay, popping the spray skirt. I'm taking a look inside. This is my day bag. Without the clothes I would be wearing. And so these are my change out clothes. These sandals are store on the sides. Quite nicely. And under the deck. That bag is our shelter system and sleep system. And it serves as a cushy platform for my feet while underway. That's it.